Hi, I am Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to use calendars in Microsoft Publisher 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to use calendars in Microsoft Publisher 2010. Let me see right now. In order to open Microsoft Publisher 2010, just click on Microsoft Publisher 2010 icon. When you click on Microsoft Publisher 2010 icon, it will takes you to the backstage view. So this view is called as a backstage view, where you can able to find home, most popular, and more things. So go to most popular and click calendars in order to work with calendars. When you click on calendars it will takes you to plenty of installed templates where you can able to find plenty of installed templates and in case of calendar it has four categories what are they namely full page and word size blank size and manufacturer once again i repeat under calendars there are four categories namely full page word size blank sizes and manufacturers i am going to teach you how to work with full page first so in order to work with full page you want to select any of the template which comes under full page okay i am going to select the category bars when you click on this desire or specific template it will appear on your right hand side So where you want to do the customization? First customization is your color schema. So where you can able to select the color schema, or else if you want to create a new color schema, just click on New to create a new color schema. You can define the colors, you can give the name, and you can save it. So I am going to use the existing one. As well as if you want to use the font schema. either you, you are allowed to use the existing font schema or else if you want to create a new font schema just click on create new and define your heading font and define your body font and customize it by giving a name and save it so now i am going to use the existing one and next comes the business information in order to customize the business information either you can use the existing one or else you can create a new one by giving the name or position organization name address phone fax and email logo and motto and you can customize it by giving a name and save it now i'm going to use the existing one my info and next comes the page size here you want to define either the page should be portrait or landscape Okay, then time frame. You want to define either this calendar should be one month per page or one year per page. First, I will teach you one month per page. So click on one month per page and set calendar dates. For example, I am going to design for March. Sorry, April. Click OK and include scheduled events. Click on this and create. When you click on create, the automatically the template will be loaded into the UI of Microsoft Publisher 2010. So where you can able to see all your logos, your corresponding informations. And if you want to customize it, yes. Here you can able to schedule your events. So now I am going to customize it. I am going to increase the font size. Let us see. I'm going to customize it. Pause. Let us see. Uh, zero six. can increase the font size 
let us say 06 and will be and 08 college day and Let's say 22 balance meeting. So likewise, you can able to customize the thing. As well as here, in case of this picture, you can able to format it. Either you can increase the brightness or contrast, or either you can able to recolor it. Okay, now can able to change. I'm going to increase the font size. So I'm going to customize it. I'm going to reduce the size. I'm going to increase this size. customization so if you have any business logo or motto you can type here and the email address email phone number and fax And once you did your customization, if you want to view this, go to file and click on print where you can able to see the print preview. And this is how you want to customize the calendar. I think you may enjoy this video and see you guys in next video. Thanks for watching this video.